Hey, this is Scott, and today we're going to take a quick first look at the Laowa 7.5mm f2 micro four thirds lens. If this is your first time to this channel, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I also have an introduction video to this and other Laowa lenses, so if you want to check that out, then be sure to click on screen now or down in the description below. Thanks again to Lauer for sending me all of these lenses to check out, uh, but again, these are going to be my own personal opinions, and any image quality tests that I do, I will give you all of the files to make judgments for yourself, but today we're just going to take a quick first look at the design and quality of this lens. First off, the size and weight are just incredible. You can carry this lens with you pretty much anywhere you go. Um, even with relatively small pockets, you could shove it in your pocket. It takes up no space in a bag, and just that's really, really useful to have a lens that you can really always bring with you and get very, very good image quality out of it. Despite the size and weight, the build quality is all metal and it's really, really nice. It feels very rugged and like it's built and put together very well and will last a long time. The lens hood itself is also metal and it's very good quality. It doesn't quite snap into place, so it can come off a little bit easily if you're not careful, but it does feel very nice quality as does the rest of the lens. The manual focus ring turns very, very smooth and it's very nice to use. Again, at 7.5 millimeters, you're going to have quite a lot in focus usually, so it's not that difficult to use, but um, focus peaking on these micro four thirds cameras also helps a lot, even when you're stopped down to f2, and if you're focusing close, you might have a little bit of a shallower depth of field. The lens cap is really the big downfall of this lens. It's very small and very shallow, so um, well, you can grip it from the outside to put it on just fine. If you have to grab the inside pinches to put it on when you have to put it in through the lens hood, it's really difficult to do, and the lens hood actually does not go on once you already put the lens cap on, so you have to put the lens hood first and then put the cap in the middle of there, so it's really quite difficult to do, and I wish that I had addressed that a little bit more. If you put a filter on the front of here, then it pushes the lens cap out enough that you can grab it by the edges, so it's easy enough to do in that case, but as it is, it's very difficult to put on and remove the lens cap unless you're not using the lens hood. I will say that so far, the image quality out of here is really, really, really good. Um, I, I will do a more in-depth detail video in the future, so if you want to see that, then be sure to check that out. Again, I'll put the link on screen now and down in the description, and I will include all of those files to download so you can make your own judgments. I'll put some videos and also some images in there. Um, but I have really, really enjoyed using this lens. It has a really cool field of view, and the image looks really, really nice, really sharp, and very, very... Just a really cool picture, so I would highly recommend it. Um, but again, if you want to see more detail, check back, and I will post those videos very soon. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I'll be happy to get back to you. If you liked this video or found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.